welcome back to my channel so for today's video i am filming a pack and prep with me video i am going up to my boyfriend's cottage for three nights four nights well, not sure so i thought i would show you guys how i pack and prep for mini trips little mini weekend getaways what i bring with me what are my essentials how I pack efficiently in a little carry-on bag for little weekend trips, just what I do. Because why not? I thought it'd be fun. <laughs> Please disregard the sleek bun. I really tried. I don't know if this look suits me or not, but I need to get my hair back because we will be self-tanning because I self-tan before every single trip. Actually, not even just trip, before I do anything <laughs> because I like to be a tanned queen. I love my suitcase. Let's talk about this first. It's by the brand Hayes. It's so cute, look at it. Bright purple and I have my little leather name tag on it that I was gifted by my management agency for Christmas one year. And I also love these little packing cubes and I'll show you guys how I use them in a bit. So I am super excited because a portion of this video is sponsored by Tommy John and they are a underwear, loungewear, pajama company. I have been wearing their pajamas consistently for like the past two months. They are the comfiest pajamas I've ever owned. And I love loungewear. I love being comfortable. I honestly wear pajamas around the house all the time. And honestly, you've already probably seen these products multiple times on my social medias because I'm always wearing them. I'm wearing a pair of the shorts right now. They are so cute. They have this little waistband that kind of makes them look like a boxer. They're so comfortable and like movable for this little weekend getaway, I have to pack a pair of those to bring with me because I like to sleep comfortably. The pair that I'm gonna bring with me is this little matching set. It's one of my favorite ones that they carry. I love matching pajamas. They're so cute and this color is amazing. It's like this bright turquoise color, so adorable. I'm obsessed with it. And then there is the little matching shorts. My favorite thing about these is that they're actually comfortable to sleep in because my one pet peeve with pajamas and pajama bottoms is that a lot of times they're just not comfortable to sleep in. Like they ride up in places you don't want them to ride up. The material is not that soft. It's just not a good time. But with these, I never have that problem. They are so soft and comfortable. And I'm also gonna pack a little mix and match item, which is this thermal long sleeve. It is the softest thing ever and it actually keeps you quite warm. And because I am going up north, I wanna have multiple options in case I am cold at night. So at Tommy John, I'm an extra small for sizing wise, if you guys were wondering. So if you guys wanna try out Tommy John, I will have a link in my description box and you guys can use the code Chelsea Trevor to get up to 20% off plus free shipping on their pajama loungewear underwear items. And I highly recommend if you're a big pajama loungewear person like me to invest in really soft pajamas because you will never look back okay you will never look back to those uncomfortable pajamas and you will live for the comfy sets so I'm gonna pack these I um, roll my pajamas so I'm gonna have one little storage pod here for my lounge clothes I also need to get some sweaters and sweats and whatnot but for pajamas we got it covered I got my turquoise set also this color is just perfect for summer Another thing that I'm gonna pack, I just got this and I'm obsessed with it. It's this Patagonia half zip. How cute is this? Okay, I know this is kind of like cute ugly. Do you know what I mean? Like when something is so ugly that it's cute, but I love it. So we're packing this because it's like a summer branded thermal knit, which is perfect for up north because it's always cold. <laughs> and then we really need to figure out the bathing suit situation because I got a ridiculous amount of bikinis. First bikini that I'm gonna bring is just this plain white one from Shein. I feel like you cannot go wrong with a white bathing suit. Like everything will go with this, it's super cute. I love like the little ruched material that it has. So that's the first one I'm gonna pack. Classic, solid one. And it's a bit more full cover on the butt, which is always good. Then for the second one, I think I'm gonna go with this really colorful one. This is another one that has a really nice, like more full cover bottom, which is great. So it looks like this. It has this really pretty pattern on it. This one also is from Shein. I love Shein's bikinis because they're super affordable. And I find bikinis are not like the kind of items that last very well because of like chlorine and pools and salt in the ocean. They just never, they never hold up very well. 
This is the top. My favorite kind of bikinis are triangle tops. They just suit me the best of anything. Thinking three bikinis should be more than enough. Oh, I forgot about this one. This one's really cute. Or should I do another solid one? Or this one. I love this mint one from White Fox. How pretty is that? But I also have this one, which is really nice as well. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna do this one because I probably will be swimming and I don't think this is the most functional bikini for the water. I feel like this knit material would stay super wet, which is not ideal for me. And I've already taken a picture in this one. So I think I'm going to pack this really colorful one. How fun is this? It's like a floral print. It's got all these pretty daisies on it. And the bottoms on this one are pretty nice coverage as well, which is perfect. This bikini is gonna come with me as well. And those are all the bathing suits that I'm going to bring. Just three, look at me. Packing so well. So now I have one little pod packed. This just has my underwear, my socks, and my bikinis in it. And it's really small and compact. And it just keeps everything organized, which is why I love these pod things so much. I just got these off Amazon. They're by the brand Geonet, Gone, Go Next. <laughs> Go next, go next. But yeah, these are just amazing. They keep everything so organized. Here we have one little pod packed. We are making progress already. Proud of myself. Another staple item that you can never forget to pack is a pair of black leggings. So I'm gonna bring a pair of these. They pair well with sweaters, which is always perfect at nighttime and they're super comfortable. So I have these all packed. And then for two of my actual like fashionable items, I have one pair of denim shorts. So the only pair I'm gonna bring, these are the Zara mom shorts in like the mid wash. Super cute, love them. They'll go with every single bikini and they're just adorable. And then I'm also gonna bring this Wilfred Free white button up because these are great as a bikini cover up. They're really cute to go with shorts. It's not gonna be like super hot. Like it's calling for like 22 to 23 degrees Celsius. So it's not like burning hot or anything like that. So I feel like this will be a perfect item just to throw over a bathing suit or just to layer. I feel like it goes so well with everything. So I'm gonna bring those two in my outfit pod. Okay, so we got three pods going. We got loungewear pod, regular clothes pod, and then bikini and underwear pod. <laughs> so I'm also gonna pack just this really cute White Fox Boutique tank top. It goes with everything and I love the color brown. So much it's one of my favorites i'm gonna bring this rolling stones cropped t-shirt it'll look great with the jean shorts another like staple cute basic item that's really easy to style and just look adorable i don't really need that much clothes maybe like one more top and we'll call her a day i think i'm also just gonna pack this really adorable matching set that i have from zara because it's perfect for like a little cottage so it has these really cute striped knit shorts and then the matching knit tank top. This would be really nice to put over a bathing suit as well. So I'm gonna pack this and that'll be all of my fash, fashion items for this little weekend. For the lounge compartment, I'm just gonna pack these gray sweatpants from Aritzia. They're so comfortable. And honestly, they go with everything. You can never go wrong with a gray sweatpant. They just are an MVP. So I'm gonna put this like this. And then for my two sweaters, I'm gonna fold them on top and like clip them. It's the best way to do it because I find when you roll sweatshirts, they honestly get even bulkier. This is the plan, we got this one. And then I'm also gonna bring this green sweatshirt from Aritzia. It has this really cool thing on it that says Camp TNA, very up north. I love the color green as well and it's so soft. So I'm gonna fold this one up, put it here. And then we're just gonna clip it with a little strap to keep it in place. Like so. And then I'll just lock everything down. Here's what my suitcase is looking like right now. So I have my little bucket hat. This one's so cute. It's like a tower material in a yellow color to go with my bathing suits. I have some SPF 30 sunscreen there and a pair of sunglasses. I'll probably pack another pair as well, but I wanna show you guys how I packed my little cosmetics bag. So this is from the brand Base. It's so cute. It actually has a mirror under here as well. Let me just, ooh, okay, it's stuck, but that is a mirror. And then it's so organized. So it has this little section that comes out. This is actually for your brushes, but because I'm not bringing that much makeup, I managed to pack all of the makeup that I'm bringing in here, which isn't much. I just have a concealer, a bronzer stick, my freck pen, mascara, and a brow gel. And then in this back little zip, I packed a bunch of hair ties and whatnot. And then here are my 
cosmetic stuff that I have. So I have my hairbrush, my cleanser, a little mini shampoo and conditioner are in here as well. I have my face sunscreen, my retinol cream, my vitamin C serum. I love this one, the Silimar NCF. It's really good for oily skin. Then I also have my Grande Lash, two different lip balms. I have my moisturizer, which is the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration. I have my eye cream. And did I say my face self tanner? Yeah, my face self tanner. So all I have to add into here is just some cotton pads. I'll probably put them in here as, long, as well as some Q-tips. And then that's all of my cosmetics packed away so efficiently. Look at that, beautiful. I'm obsessed with this thing. It's so convenient, it packs everything so nicely. All right, now it's time for my favorite part of my prepping and packing and whatever routine, self tanning. So this is my current favorite self tanner because it gets me so dark. Okay, this is the Bally Body Self Tanning Mousse in Ultra Dark. Whew, you wanna be super tanned? You need this in your life. So this one develops in like six hours, which is why usually like if I'm taking a day to self tan, I'll just self tan all day because I hate sleeping in self tanner personally. Not a me thing. I'm gonna apply this all over my body, get on my little black robe that I self tanned in, and then we're gonna just marinate for basically the whole day until 6 p.m. So we look like a glowing goddess by the lake this weekend, you know? Things that we do for ourselves. One little tip is to always apply your self tanner on your hands with a brush. So just take like any foundation style brush, you spray the self tanner on here and then you apply it with this. And that'll always make sure that you kind of get like seamless self tanned hands. You can get right in those crevices and it just blends like a dream when you do it like this. I also use this sometimes to apply it on my neck as well. It just is like the best way to self tan your hands. I have been marinating this tan for like four hours now, five hours we're getting on. So we're almost ready to rinse it off, but while I'm waiting still, I'm gonna pick out some books to bring with me. Also, I packed a pair of slippers because it's cold in the mornings and slippers are just the best. But I'm gonna pick out two books. So I was thinking of bringing these two. I just feel like they're really good cottage reads. So first up we have People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry. This is the same author as Beach Read, which was one of my favorite books that I've read this year. So I think I'm gonna read this one. And then I've also been really meaning to read Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This one is about a group of siblings in the 80s, I believe. So this should be really interesting as well. So I'm gonna bring both of these because I will be spending a lot of time just chilling out and relaxing. It is supposed to rain a bit too. So these are perfect rainy day entertainment <laughs> pieces for me. I also had to just pack one little workout set just in case I feel like doing something quick and easy. So I just have this sports bra from Gymshark and then these little beige shorts as well. This would be great if I just want to do like a quick little workout on the dock or something. Also, this reminds me that I need to pack my five minute journal with me as well so I can do that while I'm there and not forget about it. and got my hair all nice and clean. I always wash my hair like the night before I go somewhere, like a weekend away or something, just so that I'll have fresh hair for that whole weekend and I won't have to do as much to it. I'm gonna end up blow drying it and curling it like I always do. Here, my skin's pretty dry right now and because I'm gonna be getting a lot of sun, I really wanna prep it. So I'm gonna try out this. I've never used this before, but it looks amazing. And this is by Dr. Jart. It is their Tiger Grass Sleep Hair Intensive Mask formulated for sensitive skin. It looks like this. So it says to apply it like the last step, like a moisturizer. So I'm gonna apply this all over my skin and hopefully it'll help because my skin is really dry right now. It already feels really nice. It's like a gel consistency. Doesn't really have a scent. So whenever I'm going somewhere, I'll always end up doing like a mask the night before or something. Just to really hydrate and prep my skin so that I'll have nice glowing skin for wherever I'm going. Like we love that I'm doing all this effort to go to a cottage. Like that's how extra I am. <laughs> Comment down below if you're extra like me. My hair is done. My tan is done. My bag is packed. And I think that I am officially prepped, 
packed and ready to go. <laughs> so I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and if you're like me and you just enjoy watching other people pack for things. I find it so interesting to see what other people bring with them for like little getaways and what their like essential products and items are. It's very interesting to me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you all, and I will see you guys in my next video.